see a lot of people saying, bro, you want me to talk uh, Charlemagne and Kodak Black. Charlemagne. Kodak Black. Um, what did, what did Char say? Let me see this. Let me see if I can find it. Here we go. Here we go. To go and I was watching that video and I was thinking to myself, man, do people realize how dope Kodak Black is, yo? Not just as a personality, but as a rapper, as an artist. Like the thing that warmed my heart the most, and I know you know these true hip hop heads, like, ah, oh, man, talk about Kodak Black. Kodak, I look at Kodak Black the same way I look at Kendrick Lamar. I'm, I'm not even joking. I, I I feel like they're they're both two different levels of prolific, mm. and they're telling like similar stories just from different places they're just two different versions of of the, of the same kid from the hood it i'll play it again by the way ad hit me from the jumper he said bruv that shit was not fake yo ad i need you on here brother i need you on here bro <laughs> Watching that video and I was thinking to myself, man, do people realize how dope Kodak Black is, yo? Not just as a personality, but as a rapper, as an artist. Like the thing that warmed my heart the most, and I know you know these true hip hop heads, you're like, ah, oh, man, you talk about Kodak Black. Kodak, I look at Kodak Black the same way I look at Kendrick Lamar. I'm, I'm not even joking. I, I I feel like they're they're both two different levels of prolific, mm. and they're telling like similar stories just from different places they're just two different versions of of the, of the same kid from the hood it, i'm gonna tell you would y'all be mad if i say i agree kodak black is 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 not only one of the uh most influential but just completely just fucking creative I'll be honest with you, while I believe Kendrick is a prolific talent, I don't want to be seen as shitting on Kendrick at all. I really feel like Kodak just, I feel like Kodak might have more impact on the culture than, than Kendrick, my nigga. Now, granted, it, 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 you see, I got to flush that out in the sense of, yeah, Kendrick does have impact, but if we talk about speech, how people move, other music that get made, Man, Kendrick is one of those guys. He's one of those. It's not many of them. He's one of he's one of those. Now, let me change the word impact because I use that. Let me say influence. Let me say influence rather than impact. Influence because Ke Kendrick does have a lot of impact. I think when he drops an album, I think sometimes it, 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 the impact a lot of times is social. Um, it has social ramifications. It has you know um, ramifications that's in the real world that's just not musical, and uh, a lot of times it goes to people's state of mind. It goes to people' fed upness, if that's a word. So I, let me not say impact because Kendrick has a, a, an enormity of impact with his music. But I gotta be honest with you, when it comes to influence, man, that boy Yak is something else, man. That boy Yak is something else, man. That boy Yak is something else, man. That boy Yak is something else. We just got to keep it 100. There's a handful, and maybe not even a handful. It might be like two or three individuals that we could even talk in the same breath with Kodak when it comes to influence and creativity. You know what's so funny? And, I, and, I, and I've had these conversations with Kodak a lot. <clears throat> Because you want to know a real conversation. If Kodak ever sees this, you know I ain't lying about it. And, and, and I don't think he cares if I share this convo we had. But he said, yo, act wow. He's like, yo, if everybody's saying that, man, I'm the GOAT and I'm inspiring and they favorite artist was inspired by me and this and third. He, he asks this one question. He's like, well, why don't everybody just turn me up when I drop all the time? And that's a really interesting question because I had to then explain to him that sometimes the person who invents the sauce and the person who people take the sauce from 
ain't the person who they want to give the praise to the sauce for, if that makes any type of sense. Does that make sense? Like, he's looking at it like, man, look how many people. You know, he's also alluding to, like, you know, whether it was, like, female rappers or whatever. But, like, yo, they take some shit I done said and ran with it. And when they ran with it, like, everybody, like, damn, look at this person. They, like, so unique. Like, yo, they're, they're, they're mad creative. But they took my shit. Why? Why? You know what I mean? Point. Here's the point. Um. <sighs> Unfortunately about this, like, you know, when it comes to Kendrick, um, unfortunately, you know, unfortunately when it comes to Kendrick, like that name, like it's like a trigger warning type shit. Feel me? The Charleston White interview was good. Yeah. Yo, yo, here's the point. Kendrick holds a very special place um, in hip hop, an amazing, very special place in hip hop. And, um, you know, y'all y'all might hear me from time to time. And I feel like I do it a good amount. You know, what I mean, shit, everybody knows that viral clip of me saying, yo, listen, yo, what top five you smoking on? My top five is Drake, 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 Drake. I get it. But, you know, people throw Kendrick's name in a lot of shit to make the point. But I don't think his name should always be used because you're disrespecting his legacy too, right? I think a nigga like Kodak, um, while I think that he's comparable to Kendrick, not by lyricism, I think by creativity and influence. I think when you own, when you just say it in a vacuum that he's like, you look at him exactly, or you just say, I look at him like Kendrick, People are going to have outrage. I think there's a better way you could say stuff. You feel me? So that's exactly what I believe. You get what I mean? So it wouldn't have made headlines if he said, yo, I look at Kendrick or I look at Kodak Black. Like I look at some of the greats um, in the last 10, 15 years. I look at Kodak Black in the same breath that I look at. I look at Kodak Black in the same vein. I look at a young thug like I look at a future like I look at a Kendrick. I don't think this makes any type of headlines, but when you single out Kendrick, people think about Kendrick for his lyrical potency. People think about Kendrick for his social conscious, you know, um, uh, uh, um, stances. People think about Kendrick for some of these songs that have been so really important to social movements that, again, it, if you if that's the first thing that comes to your mind, it's going to dim the light of Kodak Black because you're going to be like, what has Kodak Black done in that vein? But Kodak Black's impact might not be that. Just like Kodak, uh, like Kendrick Lamar's impact might not be what Kodak's is. And that's just what it is. You get what I mean? Somebody says Sosa is more influential than all of them. Um, shit, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, again, it, you know, if you're just trying to have like a competition, it's really hard to like put people together. But I'm going to be honest with you. Some of the most influential people that have came in hip hop, I'll throw out a couple names, right? I'll throw out Gucci, man. I'll throw out. Um, I'll even throw out Waka Flocka, Gucci, Waka, Chief Keef, right? Gucci, Waka, Chief Keef. And I'm going to also throw out Kodak Black. Kodak Black is one of those as well. You know, again, I'm, I'm not saying who ranks over who, like, you know, that's a conversation for a different day, but there's always a few individuals that come in the game that they come in with a different style, a different swag, a different way of lingo, a different way of an approach, the, their, their whole demeanor, and that people got to respect it. And I think everybody, you know, is giving the flowers. I think this is a way to give Kodak his flowers. By the way, he showed up in the comment section. He says, yo, appreciate everybody. Means so much to me. And, and let me tell you this. Me talking to Kodak, I think he likes when people acknowledge it. You get what I mean? Because I think sometimes he might look at it like, damn, man, I influence mad people. And then they act like I'm not the guy who, who is, is bringing uniqueness, creativity, influence. When you could listen to somebody, like if you think about the songs he's made, you know, not saying that he's the only artist that's made really prolific songs with different, you know, type of, you know, either titles or whatever substances. We just got to really put it in perspective. You get what I mean? Got to put it in perspective. So, um, absolutely, I look at Kodak Black as one of the goats of this generation. I look at Kodak, Kodak Black as a leader. And um, 
I wouldn't just directly to compare him to Kendrick because it makes Kendrick it, it, it dims one of their lights, right? Because now you're gonna say, think about what Kendrick does great. Does Kodak do that? And then you look at it the other way. Think about what Kodak does great. Does Kendrick do that? Like it's two different things, but they're both very in influential. All right, all right, cool. I hope, I hope, I hope that uh, that kind of uh, you know made some sense and you know kind of help understand it. Somebody said, I'm wilding. I'm not wilding. I'm telling you the truth. Okay, somebody says, react to that. Okay, 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 okay. Damn, Dr. Phil said he's about to end? Holy shit. Um, I'm going to react real quick. You know, salute to my boy Andrew Tate. I know he's going through right now. I can't imagine 